Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Champions League is back, and also it means it's a big week for FC25, especially because upgrades are on the line. Champions League games today and tomorrow, and then of course Europa League and Conference League games later in the week. It means the first potential upgrades for Road to the Knockouts cards are incoming. So we have to talk about them, guys. What is going to happen to some of these cards that a lot of us have invested in? We've been sitting on them for weeks, maybe, and their prices have been going up big time. Or you're maybe going to make a risky play today. Could Dortmund beat Real Madrid and this Julian Brandt get a plus one? We got to talk about some of those situations, whether you want to sell in the hype or maybe continue to hold. And when are these cards even getting upgraded? It's not going to be tonight after the games. It's going to be a little bit later in the week. And of course, we have to talk about the market, guys, because yesterday's content, wow, not a lot to discuss there, but that made the market go up even higher. We made a good amount of coins. I know a lot of you guys did too, and maybe some of those cards you bought for your teams, you're seeing nice price increases on, and maybe some new leaked SPC price movements as well. We had another Rush player leaked. We're going to talk about all that more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's talk about yesterday's non-tent. Might have been the quietest Monday of the year, to be honest. We had one SBC that was an 80 plus combo upgrade pack, the same upgrade pack they released two weeks ago. And the highlight of this pack is EA did a server update yesterday, which fully enabled, I believe, or maybe it's not fully enabled. I thought it was. Anyways, um, it enabled it, they said, aspects of the squad builder where you can use the replace players, the storage, and the overall high to low and actually be able to adjust the overall. So I haven't messed with this, uh, but that was a part of the update yesterday that was just randomly released through a server release. But this 80 plus combo upgrade, I did five of them. I didn't get anything higher than 83. It is worth trying a few. We did not get the player picks, unfortunately, that we mentioned, hoping that we were going to get. We got the 80 plus combo upgrade. That was the only SBC that we had yesterday. Now, moving on to the rest of the content, we did have, of course, as expected, the new rush mode, pure strength. And it's 77 physical and 77 defending minimum to get into that rush mode, which, I mean, it's kind of fun. It's kind of similar to the max 80 pace one or the center back one, actually more like the center back one where you have to use more defensive type players to try to score goals. We had that rush mode earlier on in the year. This one, it's, you know, it's there. I don't mind these objectives. I really don't. They're pretty easy to get done. Score 10, win 5, assist 10, and play 10. It is fun. Get a group of friends, get a couple friends, go and play. It's good stuff. And the overall rewards still for this total rush takeover mode are very good. This Miller card is solid. I'm going to be getting the rest of my rush points and opening these player picks. I mean, shoot, 84 plus player picks is a part of this. And I think you had to 3,000 SP as well. Interesting. So that's a really, really good set uh, of rewards there if you're needing SP to get to the end of the season, which I actually just got done yesterday. Now, I do want to make one quick point on this. Evolutions, I think, counted towards some of the uh, scoring goals and the assists in the other objective, but I'm hearing that evos do not count and then it's just gold cards and silver cards like the base versions this time around. That is a little bit unfortunate uh, for that there. So maybe double check me on that one, but that's what I've been hearing. And also we did have a new random total rush MLS uh, objective added yesterday, which to get a few decent packs okay packs you can use those total rush mls players that they gave us in the season pass so unluckily enough if you put those players into sbcs which you know a lot of people that did you won't be able to complete this but you're not missing out on too much just a couple quick and easy packs if you're playing some squad battles throw those guys in get yourself some extra player picks and a couple extra packs and that was content yesterday guys very very quiet now we expect mondays to be quiet we do but like Yesterday, there was just a lot of, it just felt really dry. It really did. But of course, that has to be because too, that evolutions are not working at the moment. And there's a lot of problems with those. Now, something on the market that changed price range updates. Martin's got a price range update to, I think, 290,000 coins. So she is now actually on the market right around 200K. Her price has been basically dropping since she got updated. I would imagine that this price drops early into the day today on Tuesday, but then she's going to get to a point where people think it's too low and she's going to go back up and she's going to be able to be flipped. It's going to be risky. It's going to be hard to time it, but she's got four, four star week for five star skills and a pretty good card, to be honest. People will just want to try this card to try it out because she'll probably be pretty fun to use in-game. So definitely watch that today if you want to make a risky flip. Uh, I guess if you bought her at the 140k extinct price, you're loving life because her price is updated. But Aspas 
is not. He got a price range update early in the day yesterday to 250k, and then it was changed to 300, and now it's back to 290. This confirms for me that price ranges, although they have been better this year, Guys, I know there's been some issues, right? But they've been better this year than in previous years for sure. Even to start the game, there are still problems with these. And it looks like we're going to have another year of pro probably some price range frustrations. I don't know why this card's still extinct. He must be uber rare. He's 87 rated though, and Martins is 88. So I wouldn't be surprised if Aspa starts showing up on the market today. I don't think he's worth 290,000 coins, especially with this card being 199, 200k flat. Those prices are going to move a lot, but we did need to mention that because those are PR updates from yesterday's part of content. Now, again, since there wasn't a lot of content, the market went crazy, guys. I sold some cards pre-content. I sold Zyra Emery at 409. I picked this up on Sunday night at 375 on bid, and I bought all of these Guerreros for about 90 to 92k 93k i think was the most that i paid sold them all from 109 to 113 really really good flips on the total rush cards the tamori i bought at 498 went to 560 the one i bought at 515 went to 565 really really good flips flipped a couple of heroes flipped the martinelli for a decent profit there the market went up bananas and even went up further after content which is kind of what we expected right take a look at the index icon on flipping this is from early monday morning late sunday night when weekend league rewards get paid out all through the day on monday from 133 points on the index up to 139 just an absolute straight takeoff of prices on the market specifically on the icons here the gold market itself too fodder was going up gold cards were going up cards that a lot of you guys maybe bought for your teams moving up in price and especially a lot of your out of pack special cards and this in packs team that a lot of people wanted to just go and try out. Like I sold Zyre Emery at 409, which is where he is right now. He went all the way to 430 at one point. I would imagine some of these prices kick back up today. I actually just went back out and picked up a few more Guerreros at 95 because he was undercut there uh, on Footpin. He was down at like 96, 97. Picked up a couple at 95 with Chemistry Styles, hoping to sell those for maybe 110 today as well. These cards fluctuate a lot. They are very hype. They are very in demand. And same thing for the out of packs cards. Trent is nearing 400,000 coins. Shumeni is 620. Marquinhos is up. De Bruyne is rising in price. Fede, uh, not Fede, sorry. De Young is rising up in price a lot too. Most of the market, including the gold cards too. Uh, the gold cards aren't up near as much for sure, but they are rising. And you're seeing these prices continue to rise. What's Chiesa? 88,500 coins there. So that's up for him. Militao is up. Nico Williams went up big yesterday. I think the gold cards still have a chance and most of the market still has a chance to rise up today. But if you do not want to risk it, if there's something that you're up big time on and you want to take the coins, I would say it's a safe time to take the coins today. The market should do well once again. Again, that's, how, that's why I'm invested. Picked up a Dembele Inform here for 4 uh, 13 on a bid. I thought that was a bit cheap, especially with the Martins PSG links right now um, on the market again. People maybe want to try her out, and maybe we get Barcola today and Zyre Emery as well as in the promo team. So an out-of-packs rare card is the way to go. There's the, the Guerrero that I just picked up again too. So I'm going to keep trading and watching the market into today, even though the prices look like they're just going crazy. They can probably go a little bit higher. Now, let's talk about Road to the Knockouts because this is a uh, favorite of my pr of promos every single year. I love these live cards. They're so fun to trade, and it's big-time news because we have games today which could bring the third victory for Champions League clubs. Now, once again, with this whole new setup and the way that Champions League and Europa League are going to look, this is how they get upgraded. From launch, they have their card. Plus one boost happens at three wins right today is the third game week so three wins is possible today if the club scores in four separate matches just the club scoring one goal in four separate matches they get another plus one and a roll plus plus added to the card and this is going to be the toughest one to get but the final two teams that finish in the top two of the table in the new format in europa league and in the Champions League, we'll get a Roll Plus Plus additional added and then a Play Style Plus added as well. So really what we're chasing for most of these cards is the plus one upgrade for the winning three, the plus one and the Roll Plus Plus 
for getting uh, those games with four games with a goal scored in each of those. Now, there's a lot of cards right now, of course, these Road to the Knockouts that are up big time. And for some of the games today, some of you guys might have cards involved, like Jude Bellingham, right? He's playing today Borussia Dortmund, Real Madrid. You've got Bellingham, you've got Brandt. Now, Brandt, if you actually look up his card, we're going to search him really quick. Using this tracker on Footbin, by the way, guys, is a huge, huge help because it can kind of tell you like all right how they're tracking towards the upgrade right now Dortmund they've been cooking they went 3-0 up and won against Club Brugge they won 7-1 against Celtic well now they play Real Madrid can they continue the form if they do this brand is an underdog think about it today they're playing Real Madrid in the Champions League they're playing good Real Madrid only had one win not two so for upgrade sake Brandt has the better potential to upgrade because he's closer to it, but they're playing Madrid, right? He's an underdog today. Brandt's price has not gone up a lot. He's still 52,000 coins. Just take this into consideration. People aren't expecting Brandt and Dortmund to win today. If they do, this is the underdog versus the favorite scenario with these uh, live cards. If they go pull it off today, this card is going to absolutely explode. I would I would say this card is going to be 70k, and he's going to get the plus one upgrade later on this week. If they win this game, he's already got a world plus plus. He's already got Tiki Taka. That would just be an absolute shock to the system. And people would go and buy this card. On the other hand, Jude Bellingham would probably drop. Now, we're early still. We are early still in this whole competition. As, of course, you've got a lot of games still. There's eight games. They go until literally January, which makes this upgrade path system a little bit kind of not hype, as we've talked about, right? But I think it's good to refresh some of this and talk about it and realize that you know, for some of these cards, it is good to sell on the hype. And I would say, guys, for cards, you know, that are not looking good for upgrades, Garnacho, he's up a lot in price. He is. I know he's Manchester United. He was 300,000 coins. He's up to 410K, which is up a decent amount. Not as much as others, but they don't have any upgrades so far for Europa League. If we go Garnacho really quick. It is not looking good for United. They've scored in two games, so that's good, but they don't have any wins. So they got to turn it around. That could actually make Garnacho's price later on this week go up, right? If they're progressing towards more upgrades. So the thing is, do you want to sell these cards in the hype? In my opinion, that's always the safe route because you're always risking something with these cards since they're live. If the team plays bad, there's probably going to be a drop off. If the team is expected to win as a favorite, plays good, wins, sometimes there's even a drop off after that. But in the grand scheme of things, this is what I want to tell you guys about. Take a look at this Bruno card from last year. Bruno, big rise. Like technically where we are right now with Bruno is we're like up here. He has had a big rise already. People have invested. He's out of packs. The card is good. People want to use it. He's up big time. His price maintained its price really, really well. Even into November, as the rest of the market's crashing, gold cards are going down, we're getting new promos that are coming out. His price maintains a pretty nice value because he's still live and upgrading and people don't want to sell their long-term hold investment. So Bruno only drops once they have a loss and he tanks on that occurrence. So what you're looking for today is somebody, if you want to get into an investment of this team, that's already up a lot that you're like, man, I would love to see their team lose today that I could get in on and invest. Maybe they're expected to win like Jude Bellingham. Again, just for the sake of example, if Madrid lose, Jude Bellingham's going to drop and then you'll be able to get in at a cheaper price. Th these prices should hold for a lot longer. I know it seems risky to hold a lot of these cards and this is a mistake that I've made all too often. And a lot of the reason, or a lot of the times that I do sell early and sell on the hype on these cards is because I don't want to get stuck for the long hold. I bought some Kuti Romero's at 185. He's currently like 210K. Spurs are expected to win, right? If we get to Thursday and Spurs win, he could go up 15K. He could also go down 20K because they were expected to win. This card without a playstyle plus would be looking like he could potentially get one, but that's still going to be such a long time away, and a lot of people have invested, and they want to take the coins. So the safe route, guys, before any of these games happen is to take the coins. But if there's a time to risk it, it is now if you're invested in any of these cards because there's still so much time left. Just look at the specific card that you're interested in and look at the tracker. Like for Harry Kane, there's still plenty of time, but they play Barca today. This might be an opportunity if you want Harry Kane. If they lose to Barca, sorry, tomorrow, if they lose to Barca, Harry Kane's price probably going to drop a little bit. Even if they score, that'd be progress towards an upgrade, but they would lose. They're going to get the other wins. It might take a while, but they're going to get them. Maybe in a price drop off after a loss, you'd want to pick up that card and then you could hold and you could use it later on. So these cards are always tricky, but one thing that we know is that they keep their value over time. Like last year, Erling Holland went from 1.9 mil 
slowly rose all the way to 2.9 million coins and then it wasn't all the way until the middle to end of november where he absolutely tanked in value i think towards the end of the time that these cards got upgraded so every year it's a little different and it's hard to time it but the only caveat to like the selling and the hype stuff i would say is if you have a really really rare card with a place dot plus alvarez doku bellingham you know you look at team that was team one if you look at team two of road to the knockouts kane uh, the, the playstyle plus has set these cards apart in this team already. Araujo, you know, that sort of situation. So those are the cards I like more than anything else. Uh, but, you know, selling in the hype is always a safe play. But if you're like, if you bought them at their lowest, this is another thing to mention. Like Loftus Cheek and Milan play. They're not looking good for upgrades. This is a card that if he drops off, could be a great card to invest in. Still has a chance to upgrade, but he's, you know, they're not looking good if you look at how they've been performing, right? He's from 260 all the way up to 300,000 coins. But, you know, you just got to be careful with this stuff, man. Um, I lost my train of thought there, I'll be completely honest. I want to stop yapping about Road to the Knockouts because I've said too much already. But selling the hype is the safe play. But if you want to risk it, this is the time where you can just hold on to the card and you can ride out the storm. Personally, I don't like doing that. I like to sell on the hype. But just remember, the favorites, if they're favorites to win, most oftentimes after a match, do not go up, even if they are doing everything they're expected to do because sometimes people sell off the cards. But these cards should be a bit safer to hold on to now than later on because they're still very meta, still very popular. And the upgrades that are looming that would come this Friday, again, that is the upgrade time, guys. This Friday is when you would see upgrades on Road to the Knockouts. We already saw a couple of upgrades with the women's cards from UWCL, like Diani. And those upgrades took place early Friday morning, just a couple of days ago. So we would expect this coming Friday for the teams that win their third game in Champions League, Europa League, and second game in Conference League, uh, basically get a win this week. Those cards would be the ones getting a plus one overall upgrade this Friday in FC 25. Now, once again, just one last shout. Make sure you use this track card and footbin because whatever card you have, it's good to just know. Um, and these cards will fluctuate a lot during the games. These are some of the most fun flips and trades that we have every single year. Um, it, you know, they may not fluctuate a ton today, uh, but like, let's say, let's say tomorrow when Leverkusen play Stad Brest 29 and Leverkusen are big favorites, right? Let's say Brest score first and Frimpong tanks, but then Bayer Leverkusen score in the 80th minute and in the 90th plus 10, like they always do. And he goes like, boom, that clinches him an upgrade, right? Then his card's going to rebound crazy high. Those are sort of fluctuations that if you time it right, you can trade with during the game. There probably won't be as many of those, but there's going to be some movement today, guys. So this is a learning opportunity. If you've never traded with these cards before, just watch prices today if you don't have any invested in, but there's going to be some movements. It's going to be fun. And this is, again, like I said, one of the craziest times of the year because these live cards are invested in by so many people and they're just waiting for the upgrades, right? So that is a road to the knockout cards in a nutshell. There's so many moving pieces to them. But overall, if you don't want to risk it, if your cards are looking good for upgrades, then I think you can hold. Uh, sorry, if, if you don't want to risk it, sell in the hype. But if you do want to risk it and your cards looking good for upgrades, then hold. Other than that, selling the hype is always a safe play. Now, let's talk about Tuesday content. Let's get past that. What else is happening today, guys, on this game? Barcola, player of the month, is expected to come out soon. And I think today might be the day. That's why I'm shouting this SBC. We've known for the last, I think, week, actually, it's been since this SBC was, um, or since Barcola has won the award. So since it's been a week since he won the award, originally we thought these were coming out on Tuesdays, or on Thursdays, sorry, but today is Tuesday. Maybe he's going to come out today. Really not too sure on that one. So that's an SBC I wanted to shout out because it could be today. And then this is the new leak that we had just recently. We had I Ibanez from the Saudi League. He is a link to Neymar, obviously. This could be a really interesting SBC because his gold card was one of the best budget starter cards in this game with a playstyle plus. So it's not like EA need to add a playstyle plus to this card to make him pretty cracked. Uh, the former Roma player who actually still has a Roma headshot in game, he's got 85 pace, 81 defending, and 82 physical on his 80 rated gold card. He's six foot one, and he does have some decent play styles too. Intercept and block on his base card with ball playing defender plus. So the links aren't going to be good here, but he is a Brazilian center back. So there is some hype with this. We'll have to see if this comes out today or when it comes out, but add that and 
Crystal Dunn still to the list of SBCs that we have not gotten yet. Crystal Dunn and Ibanez would be the top two that we have not seen yet released in the game. And of course, since this was leaked, Gold Neymar went kaboom yesterday. Went from 38,000 coins to 49k. Dropped off at content when we didn't actually get the SBC. And now he's trending upwards again, as he probably will today. Uh, into content as people will maybe expect this SBC to drop. So, of course, watch out for the leagues. I don't think that card's going to be, like, game-breaking because it's going to be tough to link him, but watch out for some Saudi links here or there. If he does have, like, a hype upgrade like Di Lorenzo did and he's cheap, then people might be buying some Brazilians and maybe some Saudi league cards to link him. Maybe a cheap card like Al Jaber would be one that could move a lot as a cheap hero card to get some easy chemistry. That's a type of player that could move if it's not up already. Even Nor, they're not that great, but people want to link a card like that to get it into their team if it's going to be coming as an SBC. Now, also on Tuesdays, really to, to quickly mention this off is... We do get an upgrade pack on Tuesdays as well. The 80 plus times 5 we had last week. We've had an 82-3 and an 83 times 2. Since they brought the 80 plus combo back out, I'm going to guess maybe the 83 double comes back out today too. And in that case, I think there actually is a shout for SBC fodder. Got to keep an eye on the 84s and the 85s. 84s are rising, of course, as they have been for the past day with the SBCs that we had, especially through the Renzo. 85s are going up, but they could be beginning their rise into today and tomorrow. Because tomorrow, guys, once again, we're expecting a hero SPC. Kind of like they do the hero one week, the icon the other. We'll talk about that more tomorrow for sure. But there's potentially another hero upgrade, Max 87, going to come out. Maybe it's repeatable two times. And if it is repeatable more than once, then fodder this week could be a huge play on the lower tier. 85s at 5K if you can. That'd be a good price. And then 86 is close to like 8.1 to 8.2. I mean, it's late to get on this fodder because it is already up already. But I think there could be potential movements upwards here into this week if you want to go risky play, even though fodder is up. I think there's more potential with the fodder this week on the short-term play if we get this hero pack repeatable twice. And I think that plus maybe other player SBCs would increase the rating or the, the price of the rating 85 fodder cards. So watch out for that in the 84s today too if we get that SBC pack. And then other than that, I mean, we got to have to have a player SBC today. So either Barcola, uh, Crystal Dunn, or Abanez, one or the other. I think it's almost got to be happening today. And then the market itself should be pretty good for flips. Again, as I've mentioned, I've already invested in a few cards for some quick flips. This Martins card is going to be a really interesting one to watch uh, today because her price is probably going to move a good amount too. I'm going to keep an eye on her See where she goes. Is she going to rebound already? Or is, is she still down at 200,000 coins? Yeah, she's still down at 200K. So this card will have a bounce at some point, but it's all going to come down to timing. Other than that, good luck with your Rivals games. I am pushing for the 45 points this week. I don't know why I decided to do this, but I need 18 more points. I need to average three wins a day, three wins today, three wins tomorrow. We're doing it on the second channel. We just got a big player SBC done yesterday. I'm going to finish off some rush objectives and get those packs uh, for today's stream. And hopefully we can get some, uh, still trying to get Messi, still trying to get Salah, because I have Dupe Theory for those guys. I have one of each in the club, Dupe Theory for the promo team. So we're trying, we're trying our best. But we're going to get into that today on stream. So if you're excited for that, and you want to watch that, that link is down below in the description. But that's the video for today, guys. Have fun in watching Champions League. We'll be watching the games and the scores and how the prices move in the market today. It should be good fun there as well. That is on the Twitch stream, obviously. But if you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you had questions. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the count. See you there. Peace.